Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. I know it's been a while since my last video. I'm so sorry about that, but I have been busy. What you can see behind me is part of my new building, my, my showroom, which I'm really excited to show you guys here in the next couple videos when I do a full warehouse tour. But just a small preview, eight months of absolute grind, sacrifice, hard work, and hell is all coming to fruition this Saturday for my Bio Dude. Houston grand opening, which I'm really, really excited for. And today, what I'm here to talk to you guys about is my new product that I just unveiled called BioVive. Now, what BioVive is, it is the dude's miracle soil revitalizer for bioactive terraria that have already been established for at least six months. Now, you guys are all familiar with my BioShot, and you know what my BioShot does, it, it, it inoculates the soil with mycorrhizal fungus, different types of archaea bacteria, as well as give nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus in equal levels to help your plants grow healthy and efficiently while getting your bacterial, fungal processes, bioactivity, rocking and rolling. But what I'm talking to you guys about today is as your terrarium progresses, as your cleanup crews break down organic matter, as your funguses and bacteria break down organic matter, they use very specific minerals and elements in that process. And as a byproduct, those elements and minerals really don't get replaced back into the soil because they're being consumed. Now, while this doesn't hurt the terrarium big time, over time it can lessen the quality of your soil and it can well prevent, as well prevent your plants from growing as big and strong as you want them to. And with the BioVive, it can also help reinforce the already existing fungal and bacterial processes for your bioactivity that you are using today. Now, my BioVive is dosed by grams. So this is a 100 gram bag that I retail for $9.95. Now, again, this is for bioactive terrariums that have been set up for six months or longer. You don't want to put this in right at setup because that's going to be too much nitrogen, which can, which can cause burn to your plants. It is best recommended to be used with the BioShot already established for six months because these two products will work hand in hand together. Now, as far as the dosing is concerned, this bag of BioVive will work for up to 36 quarts of substrate. You can inoculate your soil with it at once a year, that's all you're gonna need. And what it's gonna do is it's going to put these essential minerals and different elements back into your substrate. And I'm gonna talk very briefly about them and kind of explain how they work. The first part is calcium. As your springtails and isopods break down the organic matter, they will take every source of calcium that they can find, even especially the isopods. We all know when we're culturing isopods, we need to have calcium bones in there to make sure that they're getting what they need for the proper exoskeleton. So as your springtails and isopods populate and populate and populate, they're depleting the calcium levels. What the BioVive is going to do is it's going to put just the right amount of calcium back into the substrate, re-energizing it, giving your bugs the calcium that they need to continually grow and flourish so the soil can handle the populations, as well as help with those different biological processes that I talked about with earlier. Now you can see Smithers here. Um, this tank has been set up for a long time. So calcium helps with the plants on a cellular level as well. Calcium is one of the building blocks for the calcium to make sure um, that the plants are getting proper, proper cellular growth. Now, the next element that we do, which you can see I got my firma in here and that's what is right in here. Um, I have my magnesium sulfate. Now I had to write some of this down because this took a lot of research and a lot of testing to make sure that everything is accurately dosed. Now, the magnesium sulfate, as you can see here on the description of the BioVive, so as your soil changes, the, this element helps maintain the pH. So depending on what the pH of your soil is, that is how effective the magnesium is going to be. But the biggest aspect of it is that it helps with the intake of nitrogen into your plant roots. So nitrogen needs to be dosed out little by little by little into your plants. If you give them too much nitrogen, it's gonna burn the plants, it's gonna burn the roots, and your system's gonna crash. 
with nitrogen being in the BioVive, it is a slow release that works with the magnesium sulfate to make sure that it's being dosed out correctly and efficiently. The next, the next element that we're gonna discuss is potassium. Now, potassium is also in the BioShot, and potassium is yet another part of the plant process that helps regulate the CO2 intake. Now, as we all know, plants go through photosynthesis. They take in carbon dioxide, turn it into oxygen. Potassium is a major role in photosynthesis, so it's very important to make sure that we always have a readily available amount in the soil, which again, as your plants use it, it depletes over time. So it's important to consistently make sure for the health of your soil and for the health of your overall terrarium and your animals to have your plants be stronger, healthier, and to keep your soil as active, or biologically active, excuse me, as possible. The next one is phosphorus. So phosphorus is also really, really important. So just because there's phosphorus in the soil doesn't mean that your plants can take it in. So essentially what I'm getting at is the, the phosphorus has to be um, the correct pH, the correct temperature, and the correct humidity in different stages of the development to have your plants even absorb it. So this doesn't have too much phosphorus in it, doesn't have too little phosphorus in it. It has just the right amount to make sure your plants get just the right amount that they need while allowing your soil to get what they need. And again, I don't like using this, but it is a ton of information. And then, of course, the last thing in here is another more strains of mycorrhizae. Now, you guys all know that mycorrhizae forms a symbiotic relationship with plant roots. So as your plants grow, the mycorrhizae helps break down organic matter, turning it into essential nutrients like nitrogen and other things like that into your terrarium, which then, as your plants use them, the mycorrhizal spreads and grows, which you guys see readily in the terrarium. So now, since Smithers Enclosure has been set up now for almost a year and a half, almost two years, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how to put in the BioVive. Now, this has uh, approximately 400 grams in the bag. Uh, so this, ha this has four bags of, of firma in it. So I am using 400 grams when, uh, in this BioVive to ensure that my dosing is correct. So it's really easy. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get his cage opened up here. Okay. All right, and get his cage opened up. Now, hey Smithers. Hey dude. That's a good boy. Okay, so I want you guys to get a good look at, the, at this. It kinda stinks but it, it'll do the job and, and all we're gonna do is go ahead and spread this now i'm sure a lot of you guys are asking bio dude is this 100 percent organic and delivered in safe forms for my reptiles and amphibians and the answer is absolutely yes just like the bio shot this is a 100 percent organic 100 percent animal safe product okay then what's what i did i got it dumped out now I'm just gonna slowly spread it now I really only did the top level because what's gonna happen is as we mist and as the cleanup crew and the worms and everything cycle through the soil it's going to on its own sift everything together and I really want you guys can see I, I don't know how dark it is but you can see my seam fungus here you can see my cores all you can see a bunch of different types of processes going on to this soil now the BioVive is not only going to, this is from the BioShot. So the BioVive is not only gonna work with the already existing biological processes, it is inoculating many, many different strains and types of bacteria and funguses that work with your already existing processes to reinforce your bioactivity and to make your green thumb that much bigger because that's what we do here at the bio dude we are about the best care not the basic care using research driven practices and techniques and guys this is a shorter video i have a lot more videos in the works warehouse tour how to make your own bioactive substrate at home 
uh, versus using mine. And I'm gonna explain the, 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 the key differences. I'm gonna be doing some tarantula and some scorpion videos, as well as upcoming in February, I'm gonna be flying Mariah Healy from Reptophiles down, and we're gonna be having lots of talks about UVB, um, animal, uh, animal intelligence, and a lot of different things like that. Really looking forward to getting a lot of different opinion leaders here on my channel this upcoming year. Zach from Reptile Cages is also coming down and we are doing a custom eight foot by four foot by six foot Aki's monitor enclosure out of the BioDudes PVC. And I am so excited for that. I really appreciate everybody's support. If you have questions about the BioVive, asking why do you need the BioVive, us here at the BioDude are more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you all for your support. Make sure you come visit my store, The Buyer Dude Houston, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. starting December 21st, which is our grand opening. The dude abides.